Hello and welcome to this Cliff's Notes version of the SU25T initial training tutorial. In this training video we're going to do just the keyboard commands on how to get the plane started and taxied to the runway. To get started we're going to get our electrical systems on, right shift L. Once our electrical systems turn on we're going to notice our HUD is a little bit dim. We're going to hold right control, right shift, and H to brighten it. You can hold right alt, right shift, and H to dim it. Let's brighten it back up, right control, right shift, and H. We're going to keep an eye out right here for our engine start indications. I'm going to hold down right alt and home to start our left engine. Engine light turns on. Our needle starts raising. It's going to peak out at about 4,000 RPM and then settle at about 3,400. Our hydraulic systems are on, so our flaps are raising. Our gear lever is down, indicated by the gear down position. And our flaps are in the full up position, indicated by the switch. Our left engine is peaking and settling at about 3,400 RPM. Now we'll get our right engine going. Hold down right control and tap on home. Engine start light illuminates and our needle starts raising. It will also get to about 4,000 and then settle at about 3,400. Going to our external view, we will close our cockpit by holding left control and tapping on C. And then what we want to do is get our exterior lights on. So I'm going to put on my position lights by holding right control and tapping on L. If I tap it again, I'll cycle through a couple of light settings, alternating blinking and off. I'm going to go ahead and keep them on with one press of right control and L. And I want to get my landing lights and taxi lights out. So I'm going to hold down right alt and tap on L. Our taxi lights are deployed. We can tap it one more time for landing configuration, tap it a third time to stow the lights, but I'm going to keep them in the taxi position. Back in our cockpit, here's our head-up display. This is our airspeed. The little triangle underneath the airspeed indicates whether we are holding our airspeed, whether we are slowing down if it droops to the left, or whether we are speeding up if it goes to the right. The minimum airspeed that it will be shown is 80, so when you're taxiing, you'll see 80 here. Uh, just make sure that you taxi at about the speed of a brisk walk. Here's our altitude. We are on ground level, so currently it's at zero. And here is our heading. We call this a heading tape. Right now we are at about 347 or 348 or 349 degrees. We are cleared to taxi to runway 07. You can tell which direction the runway is facing because the number on the runway corresponds to a magnetic heading. Runway 07 corresponds to heading 070. The opposite end of the runway will be runway 25, which corresponds to runway 250. Since we are cleared to runway 07, we're going to be taking off to our right, meaning that the runway starts to our left. We have our mirrors out. Sometimes this can slow system performance, and some pilots just find them annoying. So if you want to stow them, you can tap on M. Our wheel brake is the W key. Our rudder pedals and our nose wheel steering are Z and X. And our throttle is the plus and minus keys on our number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard. If you do not have a number pad or do not have any of the other keys that I've mentioned in here, you can easily change your controls by hitting escape, going into adjust controls, and finding the controls you want to switch and changing them. To taxi to the runway, we're going to hit our number pad plus key a couple of times, try and get it to just over. 6,000 RPM here, and then back it off just a bit for our taxi. Once your taxi is underway, you can back off on the throttle, as maintaining momentum is not as hard as getting the plane to start rolling. While we're taxiing, we're going to just double check our instruments up here. We're going to make sure that our engine gauge is actually working. Uh, we have a vertical speed indicator here, which should remain zero. Our attitude indicator should show that we are level, and the needle should be out of the way. Our HSI should be rotating as we turn the plane. And here we go. When we start turning, we'll just double check. And it is rotating, and our turn coordinator is also working, which is this little ball right here. And we'll also make sure that our flaps are up and our gear is down, which it is. Also check your fuel state, make sure you have plenty of fuel. 
As we get to the end of the taxiway here, we are going to gently turn to the right. Make sure you're not going too fast as the plane is prone to tipping and scraping a wing on the ground. I'm going to idle my engines by holding down the minus key and apply my wheel brakes by holding down the W key to stop just short of the runway so that I can contact tower and ask them for takeoff or departure clearance. Hopefully this TLDR video is quick and refreshes your memory and you can refer to it anytime you are playing DCS and don't want to watch the full tutorial to get all of the keyboard commands and all of the explanations behind them. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next tutorial.